Okay, this is a day six video. Um, just doing the cam timing now. Uh, I'm going to do a little walkthrough on this just because it's a pain in the ass and it's taken me a little bit of reading and research to kind of understand fully how it works. So, cam timing on these Focus ST is a little bit tricky because it's the variable valve timing setup. So, these pulleys can move independently of the camshaft. Um, so, just to briefly go through it, what you need to do, you need to remove this crap so you can get the special tool which you will need for this job located on the end of the camshaft and what this does is locks the camshafts at um, at zero basically um, before you do that you need to make sure that cylinder number one is at top dead center once that's in you need to remove the uh, starter motor and install the cam locking tool that the crankshaft locking tool sorry that makes sure the crankshaft cannot move so with the crankshaft locked at uh, number one cam set at zero in effect you need to loosen off the pulleys these are loose now these are free to rotate um you need a t55 on both of these and they are fucking tight so you do need a breaker bar um before you can get access to them you do need to remove the plug which isn't so tight but it's the same t55 mil torqued bit um so once that's done everything's loose you put your cam belt on as normal making sure that the little indents i've marked these up with a white pen because they're very tricky to see they're just on the outer gear I don't know if I can get that in focus, but there is a little indent. I'll definitely recommend marking these up. They need to be in line with that notch. Okay, it doesn't look like it's in line now because these are actually floating through the cam and I haven't tensioned up the cap tensioner. When I tension up the tensioner in a second, that's gonna pull it around. So that will move. Once that one is in line and that one is in line, your tension is set, then you do up these. These are just hand tight at the moment. So that's just loose free to spin so that in effect is loose from the camshaft um that's it it's a, it's a long-winded process but it's worth doing doing right especially like like i have you've had, I've had the head skimmed um even a you know a couple of thou off the head is going to affect the, the geometry between the the crankshaft and the camshaft so yeah that's pretty pretty much it i'm just going to tension up the uh the tensioner now which is uh, a little bit dark it's under there um once that's tensioned, that'll bring everything in, into line, and then I tighten up these. Once that's done, the engine is then timed at zero, um, and then it's just a case of putting everything back together, remembering to move the uh, the crankshaft locking tool, um, and that's it. The only issues I experienced do, doing this were the bolts that hold the the cam sensor bracket on that sits on the end of the camshaft. They're made of cheese, um, so I definitely recommend ordering some of these before you start because if like me you'll probably have to drill them out so they're only a couple of quid each and they're m7 just to make things awkward so yeah that's it